three, two. This is Kristen P with Rivals.com. I'm here with Oklahoma commit, two-time gold medalist, Davion Harmon. Davion, uh, first of all, let's talk about Team USA and how your time was down in Argentina. Um, what was it like with this new group of kids or new group of players and, you know, the younger guys coming up? Um, actually, no. Actually, none of us from last year, no, made the uh, made the uh, you know, made the U17 this you know, this year. So it was it was you no know, same chemistry, you no, know, with them. But we had three new faces. We had a uh, uh, Isaiah Stewart from City Rocks. Uh, we had we had Evan Mobley, um, and we had, and we had a uh, and we had Isaac Okuro from uh, from AOT. So um, having them, you know, and they play great. Um, but it was a uh, it is different uh, being over there. Um, but uh, no, I had so much fun uh, being around all those guys, and you know, and they become family. You know, none of us have two gold medals together, so we're like, so we're just, you know, so we came in with a lot of confidence, and we're just happy to be back in the United States. Did you come straight from Argentina to Peach Jam? I came straight here on a 28, 28 hour, 28, 30 hour trip back home. Uh, me, Jeremy Roach, uh, Vernon Carey, Scotty Barnes, and Isaiah Stewart, we we're all on the same flight from Argentina, you know, to here. And it took us about, you know, three, four flights to get here. So it was kind of, you know, yesterday was kind of a, a rusty game, you know, a little fatigue. Uh, so today we just you know it was time to get after it, and uh, and I feel like we played good. Uh, we you know we lost by one, but we got to get one tonight. All right, and commit to Oklahoma. I know you were out there later this spring. Uh, was that visit any different to any of your other visits? Did it feel more like home? What was your take on that visit? Um, no, the day Oklahoma the, the day Oklahoma offered me was a day that changed my life. Uh, that was about two years ago. Uh, so I mean, just being up, you know, being able to go up there. I actually was up there like seven, eight times before I committed. You know, so it's always felt like home. Um, you know, uh, most of my family's uh, from over from, uh, from down. though know, they're from Edmond, so I'm like 20, 25 minutes away from them. So I get you know to be around them, and uh, I get to you know play basketball in front of them, and I get to represent you know myself and my family you know right there in the 405. I know you still got a year, but big shoes to fill with Trey Young. Yeah. Have, how's your relationship with him, and what similarities? Similarities do you see between your game and his game? Um, you know, well, the similarity that we that we are have is that um, that we're it's like it's, you know the, the team is going to be run going to be ran through us. You know, we're going to be able to to you know just like he was, he assist or scored on 75 percent to 80 percent of those shots, and, then, and I'm able to do the same thing. So I think I can have the same impact or more, you know, you know on my team, you know, being there. And uh, and I talk I, and me and Trey, you know, we know each other very well. Um, even before I committed, and then uh, you know, after you know, going on my visits and me and him just chopping it up and stuff like that, I still talk to him, even though he's in the league now. We talk like every week, every two weeks. You no, know, just to, you know, just to trying to keep you know, keep, you know, keep a connection. You no, know, since we're both, you no, know, since he's, you know, since he went one and done, and uh, and I'm going to the same place. So, you no, know, I know I got big shoes to fill. I hear it all the time. Uh, I'm just gonna. I feel like if I can just you know, you know, play my game and uh, you know, and just stay focused and stay locked in, then I can do the same thing or more, you know, than he did. Who are you looking to add to your recruiting class? Who are you after? Give me some big names. Uh, what's his name? Uh, oh yeah, Malik Hall from um, from Mocan. Uh, Matthew Hurt. It's gonna be hard to get him, but I'm trying to get him. Uh, we got um, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, uh, Zach Harvey, uh, Drew Timmy. I got I got a whole list so. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to know, get you know, Samuel Williamson from Drive Two. Uh, we're just trying to get, you know, just I just want to know, get playmakers around me, get shot makers. Um, that's it's going to help me out. You know, I want to. I'm trying to go into college averaging, you know, nine or ten plus assists. You know, and so um, if I can, if I can do that, and I can you know, get my teammates, you know, in the in their spots and you know, in, in the right spots to uh, to succeed, and then you know, we all see, if we all succeed together, then I think we can go big in the national tournament. All right, and you're 100% committed to Oklahoma. I always have to ask that. I'm 100% committed. All right. Thank you so much for the update. For more information on Davion Harmon, keep it here at Rivals.com.